Hello my friends. I did some more research on the potential involvement of Iran in the BP Transocean Deepwater Horizon disaster and came up with some troubling new facts. But first, something to make your day. When researching Dick Cheney, I came across a website that listed 10 ways Dick Cheney could kill you. I thought you may enjoy it. I listed some at the end of this clip. Next, looking at the polls, the Democrats in general and this administration in particular have the most incompetent public relations people I have seen in some 55 years of my professional life. Mind-boggling if you keep in mind that this incompetence may put the Dems out of power if not out of office. Now, in my original report about the BP deep water conspiracy theory involving Iran as a party of interest, I reported about the fact that Russia delivered three submarines to Iran and that Iran would benefit from any failed offshore drilling attempt. For the last few years, Iran has been at the center of all kinds of sanction attempts triggered by Iran's insistence on enriching uranium, as Iran claims for peaceful purposes. I don't blame the Israelis for not believing this rhetoric and having their submarines and jet fighters on standby. Nor do I blame the US for having their defenses on alert. Of course, there are words of warnings from inside and outside the United States, for example from Mike Mullen, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, and from a Russian general. Nevertheless, we have tried to intimidate Iran any whichever way we could think of. The only result was that Mahmoud Ahmadinejad got more and more belligerent. Indeed, he not only bought the three submarines from Russia and the smaller type from North Korea, they are now building mini subs in Iran. Now it gets even more interesting. Apparently, Ahmadinejad has sent a few of these mini-subs to Somalia in support of Iranian ships and to protect them from pirates. Don't for one second think that these mini-subs are no real threat to us. There is one feature that makes them stand out. They are difficult to detect via radar, at least because of their small size and because they can be operated by batteries. So let's go back to my first report on the BP deepwater conspiracy, which considered the possibility that Iran used submarines to attack the deepwater horizon. By the way, there are other articles that claim that a deepwater disaster was the result of an attack. Actually, it doesn't come as a surprise. Are you ready? as Iran has attacked an oil rig before. Let me repeat this. On August 22, 2006, Iran's navy attacked and seized the oil rig of Romanian oil firm GSP, which operated in the Persian Gulf. The media reported this widely. The reason given by Iran was that the oil rig operator owed Iran fees. To me and other investigators, it appears this was rather a show of force. Before I go, in late 2009 there was another explosion and massive spill concerning an oil rig. There too, the cementing was performed by Halliburton. This time the location was East Timor, an island adjacent to and north of Australia. Oh, and here is Dick. Simply stated, there is no doubt that Saddam Hussein now has weapons of mass destruction. There is no doubt that he is amassing them to use against our friends, against our allies, and against us. Take care. I'll see you.